Other arts. Other arts, we have verbal arts, storytelling, including legends. Humans have passed down oral stories, legends, and mythologies long before they were written. It has been said that we think in stories. And I think that's very true, that we do think in stories. And through the class, I've been telling you the stories that um, reinforce what I understand about anthropology, in this case, cultural anthropology. Poetry, words of metaphor, rhyme, and or rhythm and rhyme, expressive of, human, of the human experience. Singing uses the human voice as expression. Dance, expressive body movement, aesthetic and symbolic. Foster harmony in society. The arts make dominant culture themes visible, tangible and more real. The art gives voice to disunity and conflict within a society. Social functions of music. Music is a mixture of tone and rhythm that can create emotional responses. Music is pretty amazing that way. In fact, the, the most easily accessible example is movie scores. That at certain types times of the movie, when it's very romantic, you get a certain type of music that will promote, those sounds will promote, those tone qualities mixed together will promote a more romantic empathetic feeling as you watch it, whereas an action sequence will have something very different. It will get you excited. It will get you connected. It will get your blood moving. The music enhances the film. The music itself can create different feelings. And you, you experience that when you hear a song that means something very special to you. That the symbolic meaning of that song, which may not be with the uh, the writer's intent was at all, but your impression of it is what makes that song stand out. Julio, arts and expression. The modern artist reflects what the shaman reflects. Here you go.
They say I got the nerve, but nobody's here to teach me. If they can't understand it, how can they teach me? I guess they can't, I guess they won't, I guess they front. That's why I know my life is out of luck, fool. first heard songs like that, I would think, why do they create so much problems in their life? There must be something wrong with them. No wonder. Until I realized the economic structure excludes neighborhoods, excludes people of color, excludes people who are of the lower class. And then the reaction to that is uh, what we see in these communities. Gangs were first organized to protect those people in that community. From who? From the police. So when you have a, a culture that's treated so different, a group, it becomes a culture of disenfranchisement. Um, when you have an entire society that rejects you as a human being, it affects every part of your life. Feet play, Balinese cockfight, symbolic contest between male egos, expresses Balinese social hierarchy. Body art, marking and adorning the body as an expression of cultural and personal identity, or which serves other functions. Orientalism, scholarship and art generated by Europeans focus on the Middle East as the other, as separate. It is a very European um, conglomeration of the, the Middle Eastern into a specific view of who they are, um, it, which is inaccurate, by the way. Primitive art, the term used by the Western art world for the art of non-Western tribal societies. Really, primitive art is art for the humanity's sake of it, not for the commodity's sake. And so we do primitive art every day if we are, if we do drawings, if we do music, if we do a poetry, if we do sculpting, and we're not doing it for money. Here, this, this, this slide I thought would be um, fun to look at. Some extremes of obsessed body images. Human expressive arts are ancient. Many hypotheses that have been put forward to explain why people create visual arts and music. The arts serve as expressive outlets for the individual's means of identity and solidarity for groups, as educational tools, and as a means to connecting with the supernatural. Okay, well, if we were in class, I would play you the U.S. versus John Lennon, an artist from the 60s and 70s. Um, who became very, 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 very famous and used that, that popularity, that obsession that the press had with him that, um, to then join the movement in the 60s and 70s for civil rights, to end the war, for women's rights, for gay rights. And so he made sure he brought that to every interview. He would go out and do events to use his image to promote what the people were protesting for um, in a way that was pretty unique. And I would have loved to show you that film. If you ever get a chance to see it, I highly recommend it. 
But in the meantime, I'm going to give you a link to Bali, Masterpiece of the Gods. This also shows how art is a part of their everyday life and the fact that art is a spiritual meditation. It is a spiritual behavior that um, the God is flowing through them. Okay, please I'll uh, open a discussion for this chapter. Please join in. Any questions, please text me or email. Thank you very much, class. I hope things are going okay. Please keep safe.